welcome back to a rumple video back in fleet and I just finished a series of fleet videos moving down into first and then I got to looking at my fleet as I got the new TIE fighter ship and I finally got another TIE fighter I've been waiting to have a whole crew of TIE fighter ships and as you can see I'm still waiting but it's another one so I decided to use it in battle um, in this video it's a three star and the TIE fighter pilot is a three star but after this video, I've made them four-star. I've done some upgrades. But anyways, I decided to check the battle out. And I ended up winning. And I got down to the fifth. I'm like, holy crap. So, I figured I didn't film it. So since I won, the team was kind of viable in battle. So I'm going to try it again. So we're going to go battle for first with this team right here. And at the end of the video, if you're interested, I do have the stats on the TIE Fighter and the FO. TIE Fighter and the FO TIE Fighter Pilot if you're interested in looking at them as the bills and all that because I've never used a ship this is new I have used Kylo Ren's ship before and I have videos of that um, you can go look for those they're older videos but now I've got him at 5 star and I can finally farm him I've been farming him again I plan on using him again I've got the whole crew to gear 85 or level 85 gear 7 or 8 so I've been working on that and his ship mixed with FOs and TIE Fighters works really well, you'll see. So anyways, enough of that. Here's my TIE Fighter setup. We're going to go battle for first. Oh, look at all those ties. That is cool looking. I finally got a TIE Fighter that hits everybody. So this is great. I have Fett in my lineup, but I didn't gear him up a lot. And he, my Fett's weak. It's only five star. He gets taken out. He was the only other player I had that doesn't all hit, but now I've got a TIE Fighter. But I'm not going to use it here because it doesn't do a lot of damage. So I use a single hit and put the ability block on Biggs. But now you can see it's neat to have a TIE Fighter that hits everybody. He doesn't do a lot of damage because I don't have the bills up or the stars up. I've already, in the last time I battled with him and to get down into fifth, I used it. And it's just more potent to use his um, single hit. Now losing Ahsoka in my lineup, I lost my debuff remover. But bringing Kylo in, I get it back. But the thing is, his is reusable in four turns when hers is usable in two. But he also has some other abilities that are really neat too that work well with this team. So I'll probably remove the taunt off of Biggs with um, Kylo. Gonna go for the abil block. Now I should have done his all hit here, but I wasn't thinking about that because I was thinking what happened in the battle before this, it doesn't hit a lot. So I do a single, but his all hit is neat. He has a flyover over their team and shoots some whites flying over them. It's kind of neat. I'll get a bit of that soon, but I do do a single hit here.
Now, this was a tough decision because I've never been in this position before. I don't run my team like this. So I was thinking, well, don't bring somebody out they can taunt, which would be nice because I got two ships that are way under 50% health. But the Jedi ship does heal a double hit. Um, but I think I'm going to bring out Biggs because of the taunt so he can save the team. Okay, like I said earlier, Kylo's ship has many specials. Now, the second special from the left is one I wanted to use. But this special is neat, and I'm hoping will keep me on the advantage on the upside to where I can use that next special. This special, the target ally loses all turn meter. Then all other allies gain 17% turn meter. Plus 25% of the turn meter that ally lost. So this will give me the advantage I need to stay in front because Kylo is hurting. But I really want to use Kylo's other special on Maul, which you'll see. So I'm going to gamble and use the one from the farthest from the right, this special here, Strike Team, on Kylo. He does lose all his turn meter, and this does put me in the advantage to when it comes back again, I can use his other special on Maul. Now in this position I'm in with three ships under 50% health, I'm going to go for that basic hit and try to get that expose on the target ship, which will help me do more damage, versus using his special where I get potency and offense up on all my ships. So I'm going to go for the expose here. Okay, this was a special I was talking about that I want to use on Kylo's. Surprise Raid, second from the left. Target ally gains 100% turn meter, an advantage for one turn, and their cooldowns are reduced by one. Now that's the biggest part, because his turn meter is already high. But I know he has one cooldowns left on his special to put her by stealth. But this special from Kylo I'm going to reset that cooldown by one, and now that special will be up. So I'm going to place this on Maul. This is probably that critical decision that enables me to win. Kylo, everybody else will be in stealth. And big time. And there you have it. Kylo made it through the whole battle. It would be nice if TIE Fighter did, but anyways, I still won the battle. So future work, lots of work on this TIE Fighter ship. But it was neat to have four TIEs out there. Um, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we're going to move on. I got, if you want to wait for the end of the video, we'll go over the ships and builds and stats and all that. You can actually see what each one is for Kylo's ship and the FO SF TIE Fighter. I'm just going to go over this quickly for you and put some pop-ups. I'm going to do an individual video of the ships later on with their bills and specials and all that.
Thank you for watching. Have a good day.